All right, guys, welcome into today's video. Yes, uh, I am back. I didn't really go anywhere, guys. There wasn't really much to report, so I figured I better come out here and do a video so you guys don't wonder where I've been. Uh, I did cover a new stock on the channel just two days ago, and it's had a pretty good wild ride, and I'm going to give you an update on that ticker symbol, SMMT, and we're going to talk about meta materials, MMTLP, just price action and stuff that I see going on right now because... We're still waiting on the S1 approval. So the S1 is filed, waiting on the approval to happen. And hopefully we'll get that here sometime this week or next week. So Meta, unfortunately, hit another 52-week low today. That's right, guys. Uh, so throughout the day, you can see here on the Yahoo Finance, uh, volume, we hit 4.5 million in volume. Our average volume is 6 million. And you can see now from... The regular trading day, we were down 0.04%. We did gain back 0.71%. So we technically were green for the day, actually. But throughout that day, we hit a low of 78 cents and a high of 82 cents. And you can see our 52-week range is 78 cents to $6.55. So we are currently here flirting with the 52-week lows, and they keep getting lower and lower and lower. But what do we do when the price keeps going lower, lower, and lower? That's right. We buy the freaking dip. And right here, I went in and scooped up some long MMAT call options. That's right. Now, these can be risky because these do expire on January 19th, 2024. Now, I've already made up my mind that if the price of this is still down by that time, I'm just going to exercise these contracts and purchase these shares. So... Uh, I picked up three more. I actually have more contracts in this because I've been kind of buying a couple here and there. Uh, and I just can't believe we're getting these for 50 bucks, guys. Uh, so basically, uh, I paid $50 for each contract and I had to pay uh, $50 to exercise to get a uh, 100 shares. So my break even is a dollar on these, you know, like 97 cents, dollar. Uh, so I want to show you here on Robinhood on my phone here just so you can see um if you go to buy you go to options and you want to see it to show buy call mmat sorry my phone's a little low but right there uh it was 53 cents i actually changed it to uh 50 cents and it was a medium likely to get filled and it filled instantly and as you can see i do have uh eight contracts in total so that's what i have i use my robin hood account for options and swing trades and things like that uh and if you click into this you could see here the delta is 84 right there 84 so if this would shoot up every dollar this goes up i'm gonna get 84 dollars so really uh like i said my break even on these is like a dollar and 97 cents so i need meta materials to be 97 cents or a dollar come january 19th of 2024 uh i hope we're out of the bear market by then guys uh i'm thinking we should get hopefully a uh bull rally here at towards the end of the year or beginning of 23 so and we got potential s1 coming out with dividends so i just had to go in and buy this i've actually been scooping up some shares as well uh but that's kind of what i've been doing i'm not going and loading the boat but i'm throwing a couple hundred in here a couple hundred in there and I'm like, at these prices, I have to be picking up these options contracts because I'm already wanting to buy the shares anyway. And this is still trading down this low uh, about a year and a half from now. I'm just going to exercise them and buy the shares and hold them to the shares. So if this would go on some kind of crazy run, then I'm going to sell these options and take the profits. Absolutely. If this goes on some big tear, $5, $10, uh, these contracts are going to be very valuable. So I would sell them out and take profits. So here we are looking at MMTLP today it was down 3.68%, which is kind of weird because uh, oil and natural gas was actually very green today. Uh, it was very green if you look at the heat map. And we look here, average volume is 314,000 and we traded 253,000 shares. Uh, like I said, we're still just waiting on the S1 to get approved. If we take a quick look here at the S&P futures down five points, the Dow futures is down 43 points, the NASDAQ's down 17 points. And the Russell is down almost three points. So pretty kind of neutral right there. It's not like crazy red. Uh, but we'll see. This could go really red tomorrow or it could turn green or stay kind of flat. All right. So let's look at the uh, MMAT here on the Fintel. 
We're currently at days to cover at 6.53 days. And there is 3.4 million shares available at this prime brokerage uh, to be shorted or lent out. Now, this is the highest I've ever seen. This actually got back up to 5.1. So I think at these prices, we are starting to see a lot of shorts cover and a lot of shorts return shares and just kind of cover what they have. Because why, how much more are you going to short this down at, you know, 80 cents, guys? I mean, it's not going to go to zero. So, you know, they just got to face the fact that's not going to happen. But how greedy can they get? I mean, anyone with a right mind was like, if you were shorting this back at three, four, five dollars and it's down here to 80 cents, I think enough is enough. And you want to kind of, you know, we got an S1 coming out with potential, uh, you know, spinoff here with NextBridge. It's going to be very risky to be shorting this at 80 cents. So, I, I, I mean, it'd be smart if they'd cover it, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, short borrow fee is currently at 11.41%. And they still shorter us at the FINRA today, almost 50%, 49.53. And the aggregate was 48.64. If we go over here and take a look at WTI crude oil, they're starting to come back up. Uh, I was down in the 80s, I believe, last week when we were covering this. It's at a 93.69. Brent crude cracked 100. And look at natural gas at $9.28. That's right. Keep in mind. Our Oro Grande does not only have oil, it has natural gas. So gas going up is very bullish for us as well. That's just going to help. Uh, if there is a lot of natural gas on that uh, Oro Grande, we could be looking really good. All right. Now, I covered this stock two days ago on the channel, ticker symbol SMMT, Summit Therapeutics. That's right. And here you can see uh, we posted it was $1.10 and $1.30. And we did this on August 21st. And... Yeah, uh, you can see it was up 28% that day when we covered it. And I had a purchase in there. I believe I'd said in that video, uh, I had my shares in at $1.14. Now, this did run up yesterday, and I sold half my shares yesterday at $1.84. That's right. So I did go ahead and lock in those profits um, at $1.84. Now, if this comes down in any meaningful way, it's currently sitting at $1.53. Uh, and I'm still holding half my shares. So I sold half and I'm letting the other half ride right now in case something crazy happens. I can still capture some gains. And look at the volume here. Average volume is 1.7 million. And we traded 9.5 million. I believe yesterday it was something like crazy, like 50, 60 million volume traded, uh, which is very, really crazy. Now, a quick summary. If you didn't see that video, I highly suggest you go back and take a look at it. And here's why. The total shares outstanding on SMMT is 201 million shares. The insiders themselves hold 165.7 million. They own 82.37% of the free float. So it's like 18% of the float is left for retail. Now, we covered in that where the CEO here, Robert Duggan, purchased 94.8 million shares, guys. That's right. And if we go here and look, the CEO holds 162.5 million shares himself. That's right. That is crazy. He holds 162 million shares. He basically is 80% holder himself. I think 79, 80% holder himself of this stock. Uh, that's very crazy. Uh, here you got a post here. Uh, Market Watch here. The CEO bought $90 million of the owned stock. Only uh, one fourth of the stock remains public to buy. Perform better. Uh, than Pfizer recent drug trials. It was a formerly $8 stock. Potential gains in at $1.16. I'm pretty much right here with better days. Uh, I think I was in $1.14 on this uh, when I got my share. So right where he was at, I sold him at, I sold some at $1.84. So wanted to capture some gains. Uh, I'm still happy here setting at $1.53. Uh, I don't want to sell right now. I'm going to see if this can crack. If this, and here's my plan on this, guys. This is a momentum play. Uh, so... Like I said, I'm currently holding my other half of shares in around $1.14, I believe, maybe $1.18. Because I did average up a little bit. Uh, I bought the initial shares at $1.14. I think I bought some when it dipped back down to $1.18. And then it rose up to $1.84. I sold out and took that like 45 or so percent profit, 50% profit, something like that. I uh, took good profits on that and still letting half the shares ride. And we're going to pick some more up. If this drops back down to my average cost or even like around that $1.20, $1.30, uh, I probably will rebuy it back into this play and hope for another run. Uh, so that is my intentions with it. Like I said, go check out this video. Uh, I'll link it down below in the pinned comments so you can go check it out and get all the details 
on this stock. Like I said, I love it. I think it's going to be a great momentum play. And we will see if, you know, how this one goes. So, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to make a video of some kind of value in it. Uh, that's why I wasn't coming out daily. And hopefully there'll be some news for me to come out here and give you guys. So, uh, if you guys still, if there's really not much news out there to, you know, bring out, do you want me just to come out and say hello in a video, basically, and just kind of go over the numbers and stuff, uh, the volume, the days, you know, the daily action? Leave me a comment if you're okay with that. Uh, I just didn't want to come out here and bore you guys. So catch y'all next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>